All right, here we are talking food with uh, Andrew, um, your host, Chef Carlo. Uh, thank you for joining us again one more time. Today we're doing hot dogs, wieners, wieners, the wieners. <laughs> we're going to play with wieners, <laughs> a.k.a. meat on a stick. No, it could be also meat on Frankfurters. a stick. Frankfurters, um, wieners, uh, hot dogs, wurstels. Also, uh -huh. as in non in Northeast Italy, uh, in Austria, Wurstels. Uh, in Italy, actually, if you don't order a hot dog, you order a Frankfurter. If you don't, what? If you don't order a hot dog, you order a Frankfurter? No, they don't have a word. I mean, now it's oh, become... they don't have a word for it. Yeah, now it's become more touristy, so now they know what a hot dog is. Right. But before it was like, uh, let me have a Frankfurter. Frankfurter. Hot dogs. Ein, ein Frankfurter, bitte. Si. 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 Okay, <laughs> gracias. Va bene, prego. <laughs> Quello che tu vuoi, alto. <laughs> so, hot dogs. It's, it's, an, it's an American culture adopted from Germany. Uh, it's been around for ages. What do you know about hot dogs? I know that uh, they're tasty. They're awesome at a ballpark. Uh, they're good at barbecues. Um, I like to wrap them in bacon. Uh, nothing wrong. No. Nothing wrong. And no. when we do international hot dogs, if we if we get there, uh, the best hot dogs, one of the best hot dogs I ever had is in Copenhagen. They take their mm. hot dogs seriously. They do. They take a French bread, they cut the top, they put it into this tube that is heated, so they shove the bread in there, mm -hmm. the inside get toasty, and they take this beautiful hot dog wrapped in bacon, mm -hmm. they put a cream, uh, creme fraiche dill, and then they shove the hot dog in there and they give it to you. A, sounds like a dream to me. And you squeeze it and the sounds sauce comes out. It's on a stick. <laughs> it's in a tube. It's in a tube. <laughs> Meat on a tube. <laughs> Meat in a tube. But hot dogs are a, this has been a part of, my, of the American history for a while. Uh, everybody claimed they invented the hot dog, but really they came from Germany. Mm -hmm. Germans have been doing Frankfurt, Frank, Frankfurters <laughs> for the longest time ever. And uh, basically the Frankfurter is a pork meat base, while the Wiener is more of a beef, beef base. Gotcha. And it comes from Austria. Right. But uh, it's, what is the concept of a hot dog? It's cured meat. It's meat on a casing, natural casing that has been uh, cured, smoked, and then delivered to, you, to your footsteps mm. or the supermarket. Or the supermarket. You know that all hot dogs are cooked? Yes. Good. I did know that because they're, they're fantastic for if you have little ones who are starting to teeth. Uh, I would take cold hot dogs out and give them in small itty bitty pieces when they're starting to eat solids and things like that. And what about if you freeze it? Um, and yeah, they, they, they just I didn't try that. I, I, you know, I just just thought about it. As a, as a dad, you're you're kind of like uh, you're beholden to your your spouse, and she, when she said yeah, you're going to do what and with what, no, you're well, not. Well, do you do that when she's not home? Oh, well, that's true. You could. Do you do a lot of things when the spouse is not home? <laughs> <laughs> hold them upside down. Hold you know, them upside down. That's where the trees. fun starts. That's right. <laughs> well, hot dogs became popular in Coney Island back in 1870. Uh, uh, German immigrants opened a stand. And they used to uh, make, uh, we used to serve. Uh, the funny story is, back in, the, the, everybody says, okay, when Frankfurters have been around for a while, when do we put it in a bun? Good question. Back in Chicago, 1890s, uh, German immigrants used to sell hot dogs, and he used to give them away. Uh, they would just give you the hot dog, mm -hmm. and they'll give a glove so people could hold the hot dog because ah. they will burn their hand, right. but the gloves will disappear. Right. Their wife suggested, why don't you put in a piece of bread? Huh. Eureka, and there it was. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And uh, uh, people also claim back in Coney Island, uh, where it became very popular and also associated with the blue collar worker mm -hmm. because it was a fast, cheap, uh, nutritious thing to have. Not like nowadays that we're all a little bit round on the waist but back it's still then. fast and cheap. Yeah, but Nutrition? back then they would, yeah. they would consume the calories. Right. They had to walk. Because they, they had to work it. They had to work it, they had to wor work. So it was a a good alternative and it was associated with uh, the, the blue crowd co culture but uh, hot dogs was were made famous by Mr. Nathan mm. he used to work for another guy and uh, the waiter of that restaurant convinced him to open right across the street in Coney Island right. and sell the hot dogs for five cents it was the first known competition of hot dogs he over undersold them and they became famous you can still go to Coney Island nowadays the Nathan's famous hot dogs there, still it's there. still there, selling hot dogs since God knows 18 something. They're not five cents anymore, are they? Uh, no. 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 I've got to pay for the name now. Yeah. 
<laughs> you're paying for the name. You're exactly. paying for the name now. You're paying for the name. There is a lot of good quality product out there. And uh, that, that's a short hit history of hot dogs. And of course, hot dogs have been relating to the ballpark. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised that we have Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, uh, you can name another, five guys, mm -hmm. all these burger chains. I'm surprised we still don't have a hot dog chain. Well, didn't uh, I think A and W root beer used to have uh, A and W root Who? beer? A and W root Who? beer. Daggum it! <laughs> <laughs> but they used to have uh, uh, chain stores as a, as a kid, and we would travel as a kid, and you'd go in there, and they would have amazing hot dogs. But I don't think that there's an A and W still open seen, around. Oh my God, I haven't seen one in ages. Yeah, it's kind of like a Shoney's Big Boy. You know, you kind of don't see them anymore. Who? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why, because they're no longer here. Uh, I think Sonic is doing a decent job with yep. the hot dogs. They're doing the pretzel bun and this, and the, they're around, and it's a drive-in. I, I love Sonic. Don't tell anyone. Okay, well, their hot dogs are good. It's our secret. It's our secret. Yeah. Not the s thousand viewers that we have on no, Facebook. No, no, no. Uh, listen, it's, again, quick, cheap, and uh, I haven't heard one kid that hates hot dogs. No. Picnics, barbecues. Throw some hot dogs. Uh, a good, a good friend of mine. We used to have like barbecue parties, and he used to bring like ribeyes and stuff like that. And he used to bring like a pack of a hundred hot dogs. Mm -hmm. He will open with that, throw them on the grill. All the kids will come eat, fill with hot dogs, and then it's like, no, I no. pulled the ribeye out. <laughs> the now, kids are full of hot dogs, and we get the steak. Now I pulled the picanha out. It's uh -huh. it's a uh, Brazilian cut of beef. It's a top round. And then he'll fill the kids with the, uh, the hot dogs, and then it's like, no, nah, let me pull the ribeye out and cook it for the rest of us. Now, as a, as a, a culinary instructor, have you ever made your own hot dogs? Yes. Uh -huh. We have made them here at school. Yes. And I, I like to make him, uh, uh, I mean, it's... It's not a lengthy process, it's just got to have your mise en place ready. And hot dogs, unfortunately, it's an emulsion. It's an emulsion of fat and meat. Mm. Uh, you have to keep it cold, you add ice water. And it came to as a way to utilize, back in Germany, to utilize the trimmings. Fat and trimmings, somebody figure it out that if they're put into a machine with blades, make them spin fast, add some ice water mm -hmm. and some protein, you create this emulsion put them in a, in a tube, <laughs> steam it, cook it, smoke it, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Let me do something with the trimmings and the fat. Right. <laughs> and, and <laughs> I have all these leftovers. What do I do with all these and leftovers? They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like to make the hot dogs here because we use natural sheep's casing. Mm -hmm. And the natural sheep casing, once you eat it, that's when the hot dog snaps. Mm. Most of the hot dogs nowadays that you find in the supermarket, they're skinless. There's some hot dogs that have still the casing, but they use that collagen, uh, collagen uh, casing, mm -hmm. which is not bad. Collagen is a protein, but still it doesn't have that snap that you have when you na use natural casing. And today I'm going to make you try my favorite hot dogs, the Huffman's. Mm -hmm. Come from upstate New York, Syracuse. Uh, you can only find them a while ago at this supermarket chain called, chain called Wegmans. Mm -hmm. It's coming to carry. That's really? Nice. Yes. Ah. They're gonna open an IKEA and a Wegmans. An IKEA and oh, oh the IKEA will. That's it. I'm they're not, opening across. I'm yeah. not going back to Miami. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Now Riley's officially. I've never been to an IKEA or a Wegmans. Uh, be careful. It's addictive. Is it really? <laughs> and the furniture is a pain to put together. Right. Put the ovens, hoofs, and something with the afunden hand hin into the hingum hand of funden. Kids, there's 10 bucks as you put this together. <laughs> Drop off your red spots. Yeah. 10 bucks. They'll 10 bucks, they'll make it. <laughs> they'll make it. Yes, we do make our hot dogs here. And what, it, what we do is just a basic pork, uh, pork hot dog, mm -hmm. uh, emulsified, regular spices. Now, when you try the half mango, it's going to have a little bit of a naughty taste to it. Okay. That's what they put in there. A naughty taste? Nutty. Oh, a nutty taste. I thought they said naughty taste. I was like, uh, what, what, what? Not like naughty. Yeah, exactly. Not like naughty. <laughs> not naughty taste. Nutty. Oh, no, sure. I want anything to say taste naughty. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Let's keep it PG. <laughs> but yeah, we can make it naughty. Well, I made uh, a couple of condiments for the hot dogs. Yes. I made some light garlic mayonnaise. Light garlic. 
Oh right. no, no. That uh, you, if you if you're gonna date somebody tonight, and uh, the wife will not kiss you tonight. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be uh, sweating this out. No, 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 no. That that the wife is not gonna kiss you tonight with garlic mayonnaise. And I see and you brought the crack. Ah, crack mayonnaise. Crack mayonnaise. That's the Japanese mayonnaise that they put MSG in there. Wonderful. But MSG is MSG is bad. I know, it's but it's bad. delicious so in this good for you. It's so good for your tummy. Hey, listen, I'm gonna go jog three miles afterwards. Okay. Well, not only that, I have to judge Capstone, the final projects for our students today, right after the show. So he's got to eat again after this. That's why you're truly jugs three miles. But a this day. is the mayonnaise they put on top of the sushi and. Oh yeah, yeah. and Incredible. they take the fake crab thing and they make the salad. They use that That's one to right. make it and tasty. And we did bring the sriracha. The sriracha, please sriracha people. <laughs> it's okay. Don't send us a check. Send us a case. <laughs> send us a case. Uh, casing. So we have skinless and uh, natural casing. My favorite is natural casing. Okay. And then of course the big debate for the hot dogs: Do we steam the bombs? room temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, for the for the wieners, do you grill them or do you boil them or do you steam them? Mm -hmm. Well, you brought up a great point right before we started the show. The difference between grilling a hot dog and steaming or boiling the hot dog or even throwing it in the microwave, what happens to them? <laughs> <laughs> That's at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well. <laughs> I need a snack. Yeah. You know, let me get something quick. I don't have time for the water to boil. No, definitely not. Or for the grill to heat up. <laughs> or for the other five minutes it takes for the grill to heat right. up. Right. Plus, you don't want to hear anybody you're grilling hot, I guess, at 3 o'clock in the morning. No, definitely not. <laughs> I can imagine the family coming out and like, what the heck is that smell? Who's making hot dogs at 3 o'clock in the morning? I just came uh, back with my friends. Me. Sorry. But when you steam them, uh, they plump. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, when you grill them, it's a dry heat. So it, you will sear the outside. It will get nice and... Hold on. He's going to grab one. You'll get that nice, nice little crust in there. Hold on. Let me just get closer. Come around to the camera. Yes, because we don't we don't have our camera, man. See that? It gets nice and crispy. You're hitting a nice char on the outside. <laughs> so they get nice and charred, the same when you uh, uh, grill them mm -hmm. with uh, charcoal or with the gas grill. When you steam them, it's a different, it's a moist heat, even if you boil them. Mm -hmm. when, when you boil them, I actually add a mirror pot to the water. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. It makes Why it taste better. Right? It's like kind of like a, uh, when, you, when you boil them, you can also add garlic and salt. And you can add a lot of that. I start yeah. with the mirepoix, which is carrots, celery, and onion, uh, to the water, and then I boil my hot dogs. Uh, I like to boil them. The only thing is you got to be careful when you overboil them. It's going to come to a point they're going to start snapping and cracking. Ah, gotcha. They become too hydrated, and then they're going to start. Uh, as soon as the hot dog cracks and it sits on the water, mm -hmm. it's going to get watery and mm. not soggy, but it's going to start absorbing that water from, from, the, uh, from the pot. Uh, boiled, I meat. boiled meat. Boiled meat. Boiled meat. Boiled meat. So I think the best way, in my opinion, is steaming. You ever been to Costco? Uh, no. They have a decent hot dog. They have a good hot dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they steam the buns <laughs> and it's like about yay big. It's a buck fifty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't go wrong. And they give you sauerkraut with that and brown, mm. brown spicy mustard, my For favorite. buck fifty? Done. They lose money, but again, sure. again, you just push the car of seven hundred dollars of groceries. Do they really lose mm. money? Okay. Or when they run out, do they call aisle five and say, "Yeah, bring me a case of those hot dogs. Bring them over here. We're gonna throw them in the steamer." It's more like an amenity for them. Oh, okay. okay. It, it's an amenity. I, oh, hold on. Why don't you come in after you spend the eight hundred dollars here that uh -huh. you're gonna spend here? Have a let buck give, fifty for a hot. Let dog. me give you a buck fifty for a hot. The people are like, "This is a great deal. I'm gonna break the bank." And mm -hmm. look at the cart. It's like, yeah, seven hundred dollars in stuff in there. It's like, Plus two gallons of mayonnaise and. <laughs> Why everybody make fun of that like that? I don't know. It was always a joke. It just got all of a sudden it's not appeared one day. Yes, they do have the five-gallon one, but they also have it. the quart one. <laughs> well, if they've got it, why not make fun of it? Because they sell to high-volume people. Of course. Back to hot dogs. <laughs> um, we're just making fun on the Facebook post. Uh, he put like, okay, uh, uh, AKA the dog, the Frank, the Frankfurter, the Wiener, the Liverwurstel, the hot dog, the Red Hot. Ah. No. No, but it is a synonym for frankfurter slash wiener slash hot dog. I know. Cinema. Now here. For my Florida friends and everybody watching that is not from Carolina, mm -hmm. we have the red hot. It's a hot dog. It's just. Is it really a hot dog? Okay, it looks like this. No, it doesn't look like that. Okay, fine. It has it's, the it's shape like of. It's long. Oh, so, okay, hold on one second. Get one of the longer ones. Longer is okay. better. It's like this long. Notice I made this even bigger. 
It, and it comes in a bag. You buy them in yeah, a... Yeah, it's in it, a bag. It's <laughs> not even like a, a vacuum seal nothing. It doesn't even come in a vacuum seal package with nice stuff on there. It's like they threw it in a shopping bag and said, okay, we're going to twist tie it on there. And, and how can you tell they are Red Hots? Because they're red. And they're made with red number 40. No, and they're like radioactive red. And they rub off, and the redness rubs off on your hands before you cook it. And <laughs> Like when you put it in the bread and you take a bite, you can see the red number 40 leaching from the hot dog. <laughs> it's it's so like, bad. whoa. Yeah, thank you. I mean, they already they already nicknamed hot dogs the cancer stick or the nitrate stick. Yeah, nitrate but stick. the nitrate. Well, they do have. So that. we're making today nitrate sticks. Actually, the we, we uh, got the good stuff. Well, we got the good stuff. Actually, you'll be surprised. Today, I brought. Um, I'm not a big fan of big uh, industrial uh, production of hot dogs like Oscar Mayer. Sorry, mm -hmm. but they actually have a really good product out. They have this turkey, uh, no nitrates turkey uh, hot dog that. Uh, Oh, there you go. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It's, it's the, an Oscar Mayer Select turkey, and it's smoked. It's smoked. It has no nitrates. They, there's no corn syrup. Yay. Yeah. Good stuff. One of my biggest nemesis. Corn syrup. I can't stand it. <laughs> I know it stabilizes a lot of things, but it's cheap and it's bad. But, yeah, the, the, the red, the red hots, they love them here in this area of the country. And for I, some I, reason. I don't get it. But it's okay. Hey, if you love them, great for you. I just found that they burn ridiculously fast. <laughs> They're like, it's like, it's it, goes the red, it goes from red to black just like that. It's all the radioactive stuff they put inside oh of the hot dog. God. <laughs> That's all the stuff they put in the gut nose. I, 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 do they use gum powder in that thing? I think they do. I think it's on the uh, outside casing, it's actually made with a little bit of sulfur and uh, garlic. It's, and it's like the cigarettes, they put like gum powder rings in there. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, let me put some gum powder in some yeah, crap. Within two seconds, if you stick it on the grill or whatever, it's like, and, and, uh, people, they love it. They bring the bag to the barbecues. They're like, we're going to make red hots. And you throw them on the grill, and it gets like, you know, two seconds later, you turn it, and it's like, it's, it's like charcoal. Uh, and then you bite into it, and there's nothing in there. There's, it's like, it, it's, 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 it's like, uh, I'm sorry about the people that produces the red hot, but it's like, it, 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 it's like if you took an egg, overcook it, put it in a tube, <laughs> some of the water left, it has all these pores and tunnels, and it tastes like, yeah. I don't know. That's why you got to put, if that is the only thing they have in a barbecue, I'm like, hmm. Mm. What else is around? Uh, salad sounds fantastic. Oh, this, this looks great. Thank Ooh, you Ooh, let me put a bucket of garlic mayonnaise <laughs> on that thing. Yeah. Let me hi rehydrate it. And, then, and that is the thing about those Red Hots is once you get that charcoal black tube inside the bun, uh, <laughs> you have to coat it with everything that is available to you to actually have it to have flavor. So, but no offense if you love the Red Hot, great. Absolutely. Uh, uh, again, we mean no offense, especially at the North Carolinians. I can see already the people hating the stuff. Yeah, that, putting that, the, putting the angry face on the Facebook. That's fine. It's like, listen, it's just, uh, oh, or doing that behind stage. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's that. I thought you had something extended in there. Got it. Okay, good. It's just like that. I, I, I thought I saw fingers in there <laughs> with your fist. Okay, good. No, there are people out there going that like that right now. Well, we are we are in North Carolina, so right. it, we are from the outsiders. No, we are the outsiders. We are the th Alabama and uh, God knows. And see, in Dallas, Alabama, we have usually Oscar. It's usually a good Oscar Mayer, B. Frank, or uh, we like to be. We do Oscar have the Boar's Head down wiener. there, and we do like to steam them. And there's several places uh, in Dothan, Alabama. Uh, one place downtown specifically, right down from the newspaper I used to work at, and they would steam both the bun and they were having like... See, I like when you steam it because, I mean, nothing wrong with the bread. But when you steam it, the bread becomes flexible. Yes. So now it can hug the hot dog. And uh, is that the 20-minute mark? It is. Already? Yeah, we got to start making them. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 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 we have a little bit of a short show today. I want to keep it at 45 minutes because I have to run from here to judge the Capstan students. So He's got work to do. Yeah. Uh, oh, I work? Yeah. People think I just do TV shows and no. hang around the culinary building. No, he actually uh, uh, works with students. In fact, one of our students here at the studio is having his capstone. So good luck, Isaac. Don't blow up the building with the, nit and the uh, liquid nitrogen. Yes, he brought liquid nitrogen. I know he did. That's why I'm here. I'm safer here. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about bread buns. Okay. The sky is the limit. Absolutely. There is onion, bread buns. There is like, there is... Oh my, I mean, you can go to a supermarket, there is everything. Mm -hmm. You can also make your own buns. Absolutely. I've done that at the house. I make um, brochen, they're German brochen. German, German rolls, and they're about that big, and they're amazing. Hey, 
got to come start. Too bad you live too far away from well, me. We did the bread show, and I was like all into it. So We did a bread show? We did. I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> well, we've only done 29 shows. So. Oh, totally done 29 shows. Done. I teach four classes, I and I, and I got to shuttle kids back and forth. That's right. Now, this is one of my favorite breads. Okay. Martin's potato bread. All right. Well, wait, didn't we have those for the sandwich class? Mm -hmm. yeah, for the, so, of course, I love Martin potato bread. Uh, there is nature's own whole wheat, if you want to go a little bit healthy in your hot yep. dog. And just your regular, which brand was this? This is the, uh, I don't remember what brand it oh, is. Oh, uh, the Pepperidge Farm. Oh, Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm butter bread. And now, notice the difference in this one. It's split on the top. Mm -hmm. Most sideways. American bread, uh, uh, hot dog bread, is split sideways. Right. Which for me is, was a novelty because outside of the US, you always split the bread on the top. Mm. Ah! And I I'll show you why. Okay. I think it's presentation wise. Sure. But you know what? Let's start making a couple of hot dogs. Okay. I'm going to move the bread because it's like blocking our view. You want to move it over here? So, yeah. So today we're going to go classic American. Give me the bread and I'll put it over here. Oh, you should. Okay, I had a system. Hold on. There you go. That way the camera can see. So, the classic American hot dog. What do you think it is? Uh, uh, it is mustard. Mustard. And that's it. Mustard. That's it. And I have gotten into arguments with people. Oh, and they will be. The, people are ferocious about putting anything other than mustard on a, on a and dog. Th so, this is your Nathan Skinless. Mm -hmm. And this is your typical American hot dog. And I have gotten into arguments with people regarding how... The hot dog has to be served. What is the proper hot dog? Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, listen, nothing wrong if you're a purist. And this would be the purest hot dog. Your traditional, all-American hot dog with yellow French mustard. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. But I've been around the world. Right. And they and do them gets, differently. And it gets fun. But listen, <laughs> hot dog... It's a, I, I don't know if I say this word too much, but it's a canvas. It is. I mean, you can do, look at this. You can put red radishes, lettuce, brown mustard, pickles, and red onions. Mm -hmm. Is there anything wrong with that? Not at all. It's a sandwich. I mean, you can top it with like brisket if you want. You can top it with anything you want. And of course, whenever we come from, oh, look at that picture. I know. I Pretty. Know tomatoes. Uh, you know what? We're going to run one through the garden. What about that? Okay. So, Chicago style hot dog. They run it through the garden. Mm -hmm. No, that's Boston. Yeah. So, usually they start a little bit of mustard. And when they go from the garden, it's usually pickled tomatoes, which I forgot them. They forgot the, toma the tomatoes. We'll yes. Ima we'll imagine tomatoes here. I imagine. Okay. So, spear pickle. Which mm -hmm. one do you want with this one? Oh, wait, we haven't tried the hot dogs. Let's do... Okay, let me try. This is a Huffman. Mm -hmm. Huffman hot dogs from Syracuse, New York. They are a... Oh, look at that. Right on screen. They are... Uh, a, it's a white hot dog. See when you slice it, mm -hmm. how it snaps? Yep. Let it's me see if I can get casing close. on Hold the on. outside. It's got a wonderful casing on the outside. And, and the, the, the casing is still intact, too. And that's what's great about it. Casing it is still intact. And you can see the casing because you can peel it back. Mm. And that's your natural casing. That is a great casing. Look at that. That is your natural casing on the hot dog. And mm -hmm. even the casing is crunchy. Mm -hmm. mm, sorry. Our producer Amanda was talking before we started the show. She doesn't. She's not a big fan of the casing. She's not. She's not. But we do have the skinless. Skinless. We have the skinless. We do. So uh, the, the Hoffmans. It's pork and veal. Uh, a little bit of nuttiness. Nuttiness. Uh, they, they must. Uh, they have a secret blend of spices. Uh, I, I believe they put uh, a little bit of nutmeg, mm -hmm. all spice in there. Mm -hmm. But wait, they're German. I know, but they like to put the stuff. Hold on, they're that's good. good. They're, mm -hmm. That's extremely good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's crunchy. What I love about that casing is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, let's try. Which one? You want to try the boar's head skinless? Sure, please. Okay, so. Making hot dogs with beef is a little tricky because beef is very lean, but you can always gotta have a good um, portion of fat to meet in there. Right. So boar said again, this is skinless, but they do a great job. Boar said, I think all the products are always quality. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. You got the garlic in there. That's the first thing that comes through. Mm -hmm. The garlic, uh, the garlic, uh, the saltiness. 
and it's not really salty. Mm -mm. Actually, I think I'm going to use that one. I would too. That's a good one to put on the Chicago dog. Got the potato bread in there. Mm -hmm. Little bit. Now, this is not very common, mm -hmm. but... A little mayo. See, what happens when you put the mayonnaise on top of your dog, then everything you put on it, it will stick. Right. It won't fall. What do you mean? Red onions. I love this, guys. So this is my garden, red onions and pickles. Mm -hmm. Red onions. No crap. Oh, yeah. No crap. And there's nothing wrong on piling up your hot dog. No. Hoffman sausage on the run. Hold on before it falls. <laughs> Hoffman sausage on the run. <laughs> before it commits suicide. Mm. Hold on a bit. Little bit of crouts on mm -hmm. top. Now, mustards. Mm -hmm. Brown spicy mustard is my favorite one. Uh, in New York, most of the hot dogs are brown spicy. And I brought some. Now, ketchup and mayonnaise is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise, good people go like, mayonnaise on a hot dog. Uh, you know what? You? What is wrong with you? And it's associated with Latin, Amer Latin American culture. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong with that. No. <laughs> I, uh, let me try. Okay, so we tried the uh, beef hot dog from Hope Borset. Mm -hmm. Now, you told me you've never tried the turkey one from Oscar Mayer. No, n I have tried that one. Oh, you have? It was the, uh, the other one, the last one we have. Liar. No, did I say that? No. Now, Nathan's. Skinless. Nathan's dog. Kill it. Nathan's dog. Mm, the whole me. Borset was going to fall off the board. Hold on. Oh boy. So this is a Nathan's. Nathan's are salty. Boom, right away. Oh yeah. The high Much more salt content in the board tab. That's why you have to be careful what you're going to put in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, can, you never see people adding uh, salt on mm -hmm. hot dogs unless you really are like sodium crazy. Right. Now, I think the Nathan hot dog will pair well. Oh, we're pairing. We're pairing. Instead we're of wine pairing. dog pairings. We are. <laughs> <laughs> pairing it with the bread. We are pairing. Now, this is also the Nathan. It's pure beef. And I think this one will go great. Oh, yes. With that with garlic man. A little bit, like half a cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do that. Okay. So, let's get the Nathan hot dog now. What do you think will go good with it? Um, well, with that saltiness, definitely. What about some roasted red peppers? Well, you didn't have those on the table. Yeah, it's my trick thing. Oh. See, because I was going to bring this out to run to the garden over here. Aha. Aha. Roasted red peppers? Yes. Now, what about if we put some roasted red peppers? And I don't understand why restaurants don't use the hot dog more. Mm -hmm. There's so many combinations, so many things you can do with the, with the hot dog. What else do you want to do? Um, I would do, we've got the mayo in there. What about you know, if we give radish? it? What about if we give it a crunch? Uh -huh. Now, there's two ways to give a crunch to a hot dog. I love to use radishes, and I can hear purist. I mean, if you're a purist and you eat your hot dog with only, um, with only your your mustard, I'm sorry, show's over. Now, if you want to experiment, you put the radishes right on the side. Mm. That's the mayo. You kind of layer them. Yes. And that will give it an amazing crunch. Now, you can go crazy and quick pickle those radishes right. on dill and vinegar, and then add them in there. You can overnight pickle them. Nice. What so else can you add nice there? Um, I would do just a little bit of that, or let's see, what else can we do on there? Maybe some corn. You want to do some corn? But we could do a little bit of corn, or now, we could do a little bit more. Corn, or, uh, believe it or not. Answer. Okay, finish that one. Finish what? what? This? No, the one you have in front oh, of you. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to finish this one. Don't I would do, because this has got a lot less salt content. Okay, la, there you go. The brown spicy mustard has less salt content than the, uh, than the yellow mustard. And um, again, there's nothing wrong with yellow mustard. This is your typical hot dog. I'm okay with one of those, but if there's somebody has some toppings in there, mm -hmm. I'm all about it. Well, one thing that goes awesome with peppers. Oh, a little bit of red, yellow, red, 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 yellow onion. Red, yellow onion. <laughs> red, raw onion. That is the best. We've got about uh, 10 minutes. 
That's it? Yeah. They're going fast. What we time are. is it? It's okay. I'll just walk right in there. Oh, uh, yeah. You guys can bring my stuff later. Yes, Now, absolutely. check this out. Okay. I brought the corn mm -hmm. because this reminds me when I used to live in Venezuela. They, they, make, uh, they have potato sticks, and I couldn't find potato sticks. So they love to use the garlic mayo, mm -hmm. but heavy. The garlic mayo in the bottom. For this one, we're going to use the turkey dog. Okay. Oh, wait, let me try the, her the turkey dog. It's Give nice it. and smoky. Give it a good. Nice and smoky. And they did a really good job with the turkey dog. It's plump. Even if we get it, it's still nice and plump when you squeeze it. Nothing comes out of it. That's a quality hot dog. Oh, that's perfect. Mm. Low salt content. But it's got lots of flavor from smoking. And it's turkey. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought that? Have you ever had turkey bacon? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. Like, that's a massive turn off. Is, uh, you know, the first time you have that turkey bacon, you're kind of like, eh. Now, here's, so. a, here's a fun fact about hot dogs. What would happen if you make this hot dog that's a really good about dog. this big? I don't know. And then you slice it. Do we explode? Bologna. Oh. <laughs> good point. <laughs> Bologna which people call bologna, mm -hmm. I don't know why. Bologna is a big it's old a big hot, hot dog. dog. It's a big old hot dog. Right. That's why fried bologna is good, because it's a hot dog. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a, bologna is an emulsion, fat, fat and trimmings that the Italians put together, mm -hmm. but instead of making something smaller like this, like the Germans, they make something huge. Gotcha. Can't put that thing in a bun, no. unless you're a giant. Or you can bake yourself a nice big bun for it. That's huge. Yeah. No, but... <laughs> But Bologna. Yeah, community hot dog. Community <laughs> hot dog. Now, check this out. Okay. So you got the More good. garlic mayo. Garlic mayo. Because we can. Now, the beautiful thing is when you have the mayo in there, still stuff will stick to it. Mm -hmm. So, corn. Let's add some corn. Corn on a hot dog. Uh, yes. Not only that, corn on a hot dog. A little bit of ketchup. Yeah, it's gonna get weird. It's gonna be com it's gonna get comfortably weird. <laughs> We're getting weird in here. <laughs> Just a little bit of ketchup. It's gonna get weird. Don't but trust me. And now the piece of resistance. Okay. Something else that's hiding. Uh, hiding? Are you okay. hiding something else down there? Ah. Not only potato chips. Potato chips, but the salt. So you're gonna put the potato chip on top? <laughs> but how can you put this on top of the hot dog? It's a chip. Oh, well, I just layer them. <laughs> no. We're going to make it fun because I was trying to find the Uts. Did I pronounce that one right? Yes, Uts. you did. Uts. Uts. Uts make potato sticks. Mm -hmm. They're about Julian cut fr uh, uh, potatoes that they deep fry. Mm -hmm. It goes fantastic with this. Right. Of course, since I'm doing the radio show, the, the TV show today, guess what? what? Couldn't find them. Of course you can't find them. Now. He's got to crush the chips. Ah, we're going to make him. going to make him so that now we make it rain on the hot dog. <laughs> if you throw pennies, it's called you make it hail. <laughs> yeah, well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> and now and you got this nice crunch on top of that. Oh uh, well, you know what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's make people jealous. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. I get this side. We're gonna. So you have nice layers. The must uh, on. We have mustard. We have the garlic mayo. Now, if you really want to, mm -hmm. I a little mustard. Because the mustard right on top, it kind of hold the, it holds hold the chips, the chips in there. Yeah. Mm. Holds the chips together. Here, baby. Mm, thank you. We are civilized. Take this one. Awesome. We are civilized. So you got the crunch of the chips, mm -hmm. the crunch of the onions. Uh, it's not a good hot dog to have before a date. No. That garlic mayo. But that's really good. Because mm. you've got the saltiness of the chips, the crunch of the chips. You've got the sweetness of the corn. You got the sweetness of the mayonnaise and the, a little bit of tartness from the. From and you the have mayonnaise. a really good hot dog, mm -hmm. and then the potatoes are crunchy. 
also the corn, it gives a texture. When you bite on the corn, mm -hmm. it kind of explodes too. Explodes, I mean, it has texture. Mm -hmm. There you go. You oh, you have already one. That's all right, it's getting crumpled up. So, so it's all these layers of flavor. And you know what? I can go gourmet on hot dogs all day long. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who you are, but hot dogs are delicious. And that is a really good dog, especially that turkey dog. Mm. That was a really, really good turkey dog. Now, Mandy, can you put that on the screen real quick, the, uh, the turkey package, just in case people were wondering? I think she had it on. Yep, I just want to put it up there again. This is, the, that's a dog that the whole family will eat, you know, because my wife, she doesn't eat beef, so, but would you like a turkey dog? She doesn't eat beef or pork, you know what? They have the turkey dog. And that's a really good turkey dog. Now, another American favorite. Mm -hmm. Which one do you think it is? Well. Let me give you a hint. Chili dog? Yes. Now, chili dogs, we can do 40 shows about chili dogs. Mm -hmm. Chili from here, chili from there, chili with beans, chili with no beans. That is up to you. I just made a quick chili. I make my own chili powder. I don't like to buy it. I just take poblano peppers and ancho peppers that are all dry, run it through the vitamins, a little bit of oregano, and I make my own, uh, my own uh, chili powder. Well, go for it. Wow. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> no, dude, it's easy. Like open the bag of dry chilies that come from the Mexican oh, market, throw them in there, boom, done. <laughs> <laughs> Pulverize them, boom, I get my own chili powder. Mm -hmm. And it tastes way better than the stuff that if you ever want the recipe, shoot me an email, I'll send it to you guys. There you go. And, uh, but again, uh, in, in Connecticut, they have the meat sauce. Mm -hmm. They have the dogs, uh, they just plain in a bun. There is the light diner in New Haven, Connecticut. They still have been doing it since like 1945. Mm. And it's just ground beef sauteed, a little bit of tomato base. And it's almost like a, a hot dog sloppy joe. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. No. Uh, they serve it with mayonnaise, uh, with mayonnaise, with mustard, and that's it. If you ask for any of these toppings, they look at you like, like you're crazy. Are you from out of town? <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> there is a uh, uh, a place in downtown Raleigh that is called the uh, Grill. The oh my god, memory. They only do grill hot dogs, and mm -hmm. they only serve them with mustard. Okay. If you ask for anything else, they'll, they'll ask you to leave. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> so Not in a nice yes, way. Yes, if you want your, your other condiments, you need to bring them with you. Uh, you have to bring them with you. But now, chili dog. Mm -hmm. I like them in whole wheat buns. I open the bun, press them the size, so you can hold more stuff. Right. Now, which dog? Oh, let's do the... Let's do the Hoffman. Hoffman Frank. Put the Hoffman Frank right there. Mm-hmm. Because you know you want to mix your beef and your and your pork together, just because we can. You be the guest. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start with a little bit of this chili. And uh, people go like, okay, do I put chili? Do I put onions? Do I put mustard? Well, oh, you know okay. what? My opinion is you can put on your chili dog any toppings that you put on the chili. Ultimately, you can put it on hot dog whatever you want. I learned that lesson years ago working for a, a, a high-end chef in Miami. Uh, we were serving this beautiful food. Each plate was like $40, $45. Somebody asked a side of ketchup. The whole kitchen went quiet, and the, and the waiter looked at the chef, took a side dish. This is my chili dog. Ah, I thought you were going to pile that thing. No, it's, I like it nice and light because I still like the taste of Frank. Oh. So I don't like just you know all the chili. The chili is going to take a lot of the flavor, but you've also got the nice uh, little bit of red onion on there, and then just a little bit of kick from the... Wow, mustard. very conservative. Yes. That's very impressed. Very impressed. Now, if I wanted to pile it, I would just get a bowl <laughs> and store everything. See, I would do it like this. Okay. So this chef look, looks at us and gives to to this customer a side of ketchup and told him charge him six dollars. Yep. Chef, he's gonna destroy your creation. And the chef looked at us and he was like, he bought it. Right. He can do whatever he wants with he it. He wants to ruin it, ruin it with ketchup. Go for it. It's not ruined. Hey, charge five dollars, give him the ketchup. That's right. Now. I'm my chili dog, mm -hmm. because I'm the foreigner and I can get away with this. <laughs> I will go garlic <laughs> mayo to start. Yeah, of course, I will go for the beef hot dog, boar's head, and then I will douse it 
Dows it. It sounds like Schwarzenegger. A little bit of the chili in there. A little bit. Lit, a little bit. <laughs> then, of course, got to have onion? the crunch of the red onions. Then, of course, of course. <laughs> Tomato I mean, put the potato chips on there? Of course. <laughs> Why do you think I made so many? It's got potato chips. Got to have potato chips in there to give it a crunch. And then, just because we can, mm -hmm. and I've tried it before, and I like it. Ah, banana pepper. Now, do you like your chili spicy or regular? I'm a regular kind of guy. So before you put, I like it spicy. Mm -hmm. Before you put your banana peppers in there that are kind of like acidity. Uh -huh. A little sriracha? Yeah, just a dab. Mm -hmm. It's not about not being able to feel the food. And then a couple of banana peppers for the crunch. Nice. When I mean you a couple, I mean half the jar. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and I admire you going conserv very conservative on your chili dog. I was going for presentation, chef. Oh, presentation, because I, I, I like mine like <laughs> pilot, piled yeah, up. exactly. I like mine piled up with stuff on top of it. And there you go. And mm -hmm. if it falls on the side, you know, there's nothing wrong with just putting it back on top. And this is, oh, this is the, the Chef Carlo chili dog with banana peppers, garlic mayonnaise, potato chips. Yeah. Chili, red onions. And again, don't get me wrong. And a beef hot dog. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. That, you know, a, a good frank, because people say, oh, when you are like adding all these toppings, you're like masking the flavor of the um, of the frank of the frank so then i look at them and i'm like uh which pizza do you like right uh, that's exactly right oh yeah. i love the supreme pizza with like 20 kind of meats and 40 veggies and when has anybody said uh, yeah don't put so much on there and um because you're taking over the flavor of the dough and hold on <laughs> this chips are good <laughs> and um and i'm like well listen to me pizza if you really want to taste it, it's pizza margarita, mm -hmm. which is dough, tomato, mozzarella base. Right. It's amazing. Another great thing to put on my, I, I like to put it when I have it in the house, put on my hot dogs, is making a Chicago style dog with the pickles and the, you know, running it through the garden and then throwing on there the fried, um, fried onions on top for that crunch. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, you can buy them in a little can. Now, I will have a pizza margarita, but then, <laughs> what are the specials? Right. Well, you have the roasted onion, and roasted shallots and grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. Put it right on top. <laughs> there are some days that I'm really in the mood for like classical stuff. Right. Like pizza margarita, like somebody asked me, oh, Chef Carl, if you would die tomorrow, if you're on death row, what's your, what meal would you ask? Glass of wine, mm -hmm. bucatini pasta, mm -hmm. it's the spaghetti with the whole. Right. A really good marinara sauce. That's it? And cheese. And that's it? Okay, fine, bolognese. <laughs> I was gonna say, come on, chef. Bolognese. Bolognese. But there's there's that that comfort of coming out of the uh, the, the the just the very simple things, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, it, again it's it's whatever you want to make it of. Absolutely. And uh, the the corn I think it brings a lot of crunch into it. it now your toppings make sure they they balance. One thing is to put uh, I'm gonna put like everything like people go to a sandwich shop and they ask all the toppings on mm -hmm. it. They're not making Thanksgiving dinner for you. On a bun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm paying for my sob. Okay, fine, whatever, add whatever you want. But my suggestion is use toppings that kind of like complement each other. Mm -hmm. Like krauts. You can take favorite one, potato. Right. Potato bun, steamed, delicious. A beautiful Nathan's dog. Brown spicy mustard, oh, and I when I when I still go to New York in Manhattan, uh, I go every time I go on vacation. My it's always a culinary thing. Mm -hmm. I'm always looking for food, but you know where I stop still? Mm -mm. Fifth Avenue, corner of Thirty Six. There's a hot dog stand there. I kill it, <laughs> and uh, I kill it. I love it. I love hot dogs, and the hot dogs in Manhattan they make them. In uh, all the hot dogs, they make them in, the, in Queens. There's a factory that makes them from them. Mm -hmm. Then they use the dirty water from the Hudson River. That gives them the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, 
But you know what? <laughs> you see, that's what makes New York dogs amazing. The yeah, dirty it's water from the, the Hudson, Hudson River. River. Yeah. Uh, that's what, what that's what gives or the, them the flavor. the pollution from the east. So. Or the pollution from the east coming from Joycey. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, that's the flavor right there. But listen, kraut, yeah. spicy brown mustard. So hot dog, brown spicy mustard, kraut. No more mustard. I love mustard. Have some mustard with your hot dog. Oh, don't don't tempt me, kid. There don't tempt go. me. There you go. Look, simplicity, right there. I can have that every day. And uh, um, for my kid's birthday, so many times we used to have a hot dog bar, mm -hmm. and we used to. I used to just put hot dogs, like hundred hot dogs in a uh, in a, uh, a hotel pan with the sternos uh -huh. hotel. You take hotel pans to your kids to your birthday parties. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Put a hundred hot dogs in there, and I used to do a a uh, topping bar. Right. And these kids went crazy, and everybody was a success. And my kids knew that uh, all my kids' friends, when they knew that there was a birthday party, there was a hot dog bar. Right. Easiest way to please everybody. Perfect. Are we out of time? We are. Okay. You can get uh, to your other job. Sorry about the so short show. I can talk hot dogs for about three, uh, <laughs> three more episodes. I gotta go uh, judge a um, uh, students. They're, they're nervous. They're the finals, and these are the graduating students. But it's been a pleasure to be here. I hope we have enlightened you uh, with on, on the hot dog side. Nothing wrong with putting mayo in your hot dog. Mm. People are like, ah, oh, here's part of mayo on the hot dog. There's a whole world outside of, of of mustard. And here we only have three kind of buns. You can experiment, you can make your own buns, you mm -hmm. can use uh, French bread, cutting it. There's nothing wrong, just, just play with it. Uh, if you're a restaurant operator that you haven't discovered yet the low cost, high profit of a hot dog, you have to explore it. You have the toppings for the burgers, move them to the hot dog side. Mm -hmm. You can have a menu for burgers, have a menu for hot dogs. You'll be surprised, people like me, but Chef Carlos, aren't you like a CIA trained chef? Yeah, but I love hot dogs. Yeah, there's They're nothing wrong with delicious. hot dogs. Just because, just because you have the fancy dancing for degrees does not mean yeah, you, fancy, don't, fancy you, don't, dance degree. you don't enjoy life's yeah. Chef Carlos, but you cook in France, you cooked in Italy, you cook in Denmark. I know, but I love hot dogs. <laughs> what can I tell you? Thank you very much for watching. And uh, any questions, please shoot us an email. Leave something in the comments. Click us a like, share us with a friend. Yeah, please. Share us with a friend. That sounds share, weird. Share it, yeah. If you, uh, especially if you have an episode that you're really enjoying, um, share please with share a friend. it. Make sure they're cute. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next week. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>